Hello everyone. Today I'm talking about how to use register pages in ASP.NET Core 2.0. This is the new features uh, released by Microsoft in ASP.NET Core 2.0 that is register pages. So first of all create a new uh, project in web application uh, with the framework that is ASP.NET Core 2.0 and web application. Okay. Uh, creating projects with the uh, new NuGet packages. Okay. Uh, first of all, add a new NuGet packages, or you can say uh, before doing this, first of all, add a class that is movie class. Okay, and uh, in the movie class, create a, some properties like movie ID, movie name, and the movie description. Okay, it's easy to create a model first because uh, in in this uh, video, uh, I have used Razor pages with uh, this model, movie description with this model okay using the uh, dependency injections so okay there are some pages layout validations okay uh, create a properly way so first of all create a new folder with the service folder with the name is service and move this movie.cs file into the services and also change the namespace that is uh, razor pages example so first to use the folder name that is services and use the dot and then after you can use the namespace same that's your application name that is razor page example okay this is the uh, actual namespace of your uh, class which is existing so add a new interface in the folder services where your movie.cs file is exist. The name of the interface is iMovie interface. Okay. Where your prototype uh, have to declare or uh, you can say uh, I will declare uh, like the list of movies list of movie and uh, get movie or you can say get list is a method name exist in the movie interface resolve this uh, by using the namespace name using services dot razor pages example now your interface is clear now add a new repository class uh, in the same folder services movie repository movie repo and in this uh, class first to implement that class from your inter interface that is i movie interface and implement interface uh, with the, uh, a single method that is a list of movie get list and that method written actually list of movies so create a new list with the name movies equals to uh, add some movies here new uh, list of movies and in it you can add a new movie new movie okay so the first movie name uh, so, so sorry so movie id is one movie name and the movie details actually is there so uh, it's pretty simple okay uh, the movie name is 007 bond it's my favorite movie movie details is James Bond the hero of uh, you can say the actor of the actor in this movie
now uh, simply create a new uh, movie just copy and paste and change the content of your uh, property of the class that is movie ID and movie name and that is uh, movie details okay and that's uh, create successfully a movie list and return the list easily return movies now uh, in the services folder we have three uh, two classes and the one interface you can check now open your uh, pages and here we have a sim simple page that is index.cshtml page and remove the content from first of all remove the content from index.cshtml page and add a new table from your toolbox and you can design manually also and uh, first of all arrange that table using your um, table row and properly uh, after that properly manage your table first to uh, add the three pr property or you can say the field name of your class or you can say the database table name that is movie id movie uh, title and the description and after that you can use the for each loop uh, and that for each loop bind with the public properties of the movies and that uh, public property create in the code behind file which is uh, exist with the .cshtml file that is index.cshtml.cs file okay the movie id movie name and the movie description or you can say the movie details okay it's pretty simple and after that you can use for each loop uh, by using the for each loop you can iterate your uh, movie list okay variable item in collection and the collection is actually you know uh, you know that uh, the collection is index model you can check your model name is index model because the code behind file name is the same as the name of your CSHTML but uh, the conventions is attached with your uh, name of your CSHTML that is index model okay the convention is model so item dot and what so first of all create uh, or you can say the prepare the your index dot model class index model class that is index dot CSHTML dot CS file in your razor pages so here we have two uh, property so uh, before doing this first to open your startup.cs file if you work with the dependency injections so add a configure services method uh, in a startup.cs file add a transit method a scope method you can add according you so iMovie actually uh, here we have two one interface and the one class iMovie interface is the movie interface and um, iMovie repository actually is there in the service that is movie repo actually movie repo okay it's uh, now resolve this uh, usings uh, open your uh, index model that is code behind file of your index that is index.cshtml.cs file create a um, private property uh, um, or you can say private variable of your interface that is iMovie interface you can do this only by using their uh, transit property uh, that is uh, already defined in the startup.cs file so in the constructor initialize your uh, interface variable okay okay that's fine now in the on get method first of all create a list of movie a list of movie uh, property with the get only uh, you can use the get uh, variable because I won't return only so movie movies is the property name get 
and set also but there is no need to set um, but you can set variable okay now after that you can initialize that movies with the repo class so movies equals to and get that repos using the movie interface that is underscore movie interface yeah that is uh, available here movie repo class underscore movie interface dot get list and that written a list of movies so assign that movies with the movie list it's easy okay that's uh, use that uh, public property in the model uh, in the dot CSSTML page that is movies okay it's pretty simple so if you like this video please subscribe my channel also share this video uh, please 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 uh, please uh, share this uh, video also subscribe my channel uh, I promise you I will provide you better video tutorial uh, uh, of uh, ASP.NET Core and web APIs also and uh, if you like this video um, I can help you anything about uh, anything in the ASP.NET Core so please subscribe my channel and also like this video and share this video so uh, if not accessible your uh, public properties first to add a public access control just before your uh, the name of the public property okay and you can retrieve your uh, details of the movies by using their at the red symbol item and dot movie name and the movie description so please 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 share this video on your my channel yeah that's uh, that is your code it's simple thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my old video tutorials which is related to esp.net core and subscribe my channel and i request you again thank you very much